Hi, my name is Dan Mayer. I'm the marketing coordinator for Campanula North America. I'm going to give you a brief overview of all the changes we've done for 2011 for the Super Record drivetrains. The big focus that we wanted to do for 2011 for the Super Record drivetrain was to focus on the front derailleur shifting to try and enhance it and modify it to make it a, as compatible and as, uh, as uh, easy to shift as possible. So what we did, we focused a lot on the chainring design and redesigned all the chainrings for the 11-speed groups. We added more pickup pins along the interior of the chain rings to help pick the pin up, pick the chain up, and shift it up quicker to the chain rings, along with more machining and profiling in the pickup zones on the interface of the chain ring. Shifting up is as important as shifting down, so also what we did, there's two downshift zones. You'll see there's machining on these teeth as well to help shift back down to the small chain ring as quickly as you get up to the large chain ring. In addition, to the chainring modifications with the front derailleur to help actuate the, the pivots quicker we changed the geometry on the swing arm as well as the clamping area where the cable gets clamped so instead of clamping horizontally across the clamp it actually clamps at an angle and pulls quicker so you have more actuation of the pivot itself the last thing they did to modify the front derailleur shifting is change the coiling cable bushing inside the left hand shifter basically what it does is allows the shift to go much quicker and pull a little bit more cable so it shifts up to the large chain ring quicker and a little bit more accurately. The rear derailleur now has full carbon upper and lower pivots, 100% molded carbon fiber instead of the aluminum last year. So what that does is it stiffens up the rear derailleur a little bit while at the same time dropping the weight. Lastly on the rear derailleur, we've gone to an alloy, aluminum alloy fixing bolt and this is actually a two bolt mechanism. The back piece actually threads into the front piece at the factory and is held together with a super strong Loctite. <laughs> These are all done with T25 Torx to install it and you can install it from either the front or the back side of the frame if you need to. So once again, what putting the, uh, the lightweight aluminum bolt in there does, it lightens up the, uh, the derailleur itself as well as stiffens it up since it does have a hard treatment on it. So in the past, we've focused on bearing technology for our high-end wheels, being the Bora Ultra 2, the Hyperon Ultra 2, uh, the Ghibli disc as well. That being said, we use what we call our cult bearing technology. It's a ceramic ultimate level technology. And basically you have a super high grade ceramic bearing that is captured inside stainless steel that we had developed for us called Chronotech. What that allows us to do is have a bearing that's run completely dry if you want to. These bearings do not need any lubrication whatsoever. You have the ability to run them totally dry. Uh, if you do that, it's a little bit noisy, so we recommend a lightweight oil if you need to do that. But this bearing is an amazingly smooth rolling bearing. You'll see that it will actually roll back on itself. Claimed weight on the Boras. The Bora Ultra 2s is 1,310 grams. For 2011, Campanile has decided to foray into the cyclocross market. By saying that, what we've introduced is cyclocross cranksets and wheels for the cyclocross world. Uh, for our 11 speed groups, we have cyclocross cranksets that have 36, 46, and 50, 34 chainring capabilities, along with really well sealed crankset bearings. So when you're racing in the cross in the rain and the wind and the snow, you don't have to worry about blowing out your bearings. Obviously comes carbon or silver and 11 speed as well as a 10 speed version. For the cross wheels in our 2011 cross range, we've basically taken our three workhorse wheels out of our road range, increased the seals on them, and changed them a little bit to make them a little bit more cross specific and cross durable. We have the Vento Reaction, a Campson CX, and our Scirocco CX that come straight from our road range and jump right into our cross range. I'm Dan Mayer, and I want to thank you for shopping by the uh, Campagnolo booth. Be sure to stop by your local pro shop or Campagnolo dealer. Check out the new products and hopefully uh, spread a little bit of love into the bike shop. Thanks a lot.